Does traveling through the nether ever kind of feel like it's kind of hard to do sometimes? That's why players use ice highways. Basically what an ice highway is, it's a straight line of blue ice that people use. They use it for two blocks. The reason this works is because Minecraft has a very strange mechanic which makes boats go very fast on ice. And since boats aren't just a one block wide hitbox, you usually need two for it. But that's where I found a catch. See, what if you didn't need two blocks? What if you only needed one block? That's where I came up with a super easy design that saves you lots of resources when making this. My name's TetraGamer, and I'm gonna show you my design on how to build an ice highway. And before I start, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And now on with the video. So when I was working on it, this is the design I came up with. It's super easy, and it only uses one block. That's way better than using two blocks, because blue ice is not cheap. You need to turn it into packed ice and then into blue ice just to make it. So if you use fences, it makes it a lot easier so the boat can fit through, but you still only need one block of ice to do it. We don't even need to stop there because I got even more solutions to make this even more efficient. And that's why I found out you can make it semi-automatic, which is really nice. In this chest are all the items you'll need to make it semi-automatic. First, you'll need one blue ice for every block you're going to want to travel. And you're going to need two oak fences for every single block you're going to travel. Plus an additional four oak fences if you want it to be more secure. About a stack of regular blocks and some stairs if you want. Two hoppers, two dispensers, two white carpet, two note blocks, six observers, two redstone repeaters, two redstone dust, and only one boat. Now that we have all the materials, I'm going to show you how to build this. You're going to start off by having this on the nether roof. You don't need to do this on the nether roof, but I would recommend it. If you're on bedrock, you'll ha you can't do it here, but if you're a Java player, just do it here. So first things first, you're going to need to build one block here and place a dispenser fi facing upwards. Then break that block and then add a hopper leading into it. After you do that, you're going to need to add two observers facing upwards like this and one observer facing upwards like this. Next, you'll place your note block on top of here. Now to test it, once you right click the note block, it should make the dispenser fire. And you can add your white carpet on top of it right here. Now all you have to do is cover it up with your blocks. And you can place your stairs leading upwards. Last but not least, you have to place your fences on each side. That's basically the entire mechanism done. Now all you have to do is repeat it on the other side. I'm sure you don't want to watch me build, so I'm just going to do it right now and skip ahead. Alright, and that's the entire build done. It's pretty simple, but it saves you a lot of time. The only other thing you're going to need to make this work is an axe, which you can use to destroy the boats. But don't worry about its durability, because breaking boats won't lose any. Now we're in survival mode and all we need to do is place it down here and go ahead. You can ready your axe if you want. Now all you have to do is get out of the boat and swing your axe and it goes right into there and there. And now you can go ahead and do your thing. But when you want to come back, you just go here, stand on here, click the button, and look, you get your boat back. Easy as that. Now you go and break it again. We traveled just like that without losing any durability and it was super efficient. If you guys know any ways to simplify this further, make sure to let me know in the comments. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was a bit of a short one, but I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!